the last section in this unit, we've added in volume, which we've actually been working on already through our bell work each um, whatever day we do it. So just going over a couple things. Volume measures capacity, which means the amount an object can hold. So volume is always written in cubic units because there's three, there's a length, a width, and a height. So that one is um, written with units cubed, so cubic units. RV is gonna stand for volume. You'll notice this is a capital B. A capital B is the area of the base. So whatever that base shape is, um, it's the area of that. So it's already been square. They've already done like the length time, the width, or whatever it is we're finding. And then H is going to be the height. <clears throat> Couple reminders, and this goes straight back to last year. First and foremost is in a circle. We are going to be using... Um, well, we need to know that the diameter is the whole distance across, and it goes through the center. And then our radius is half of our diameter. Our radius only goes halfway across. So you could find the radius. If they give you the diameter, you could divide it by two and get your radius. If they give you the radius, you could do two times your radius and get your diameter. We won't need diameters today, but you'll need to know how to find the radius. The other thing is we are going to use, for pi, we are going to use 3.14. This is super important, because if you don't use it, you may get a different answer. Um, and it will be marked wrong just because now I've told you to use that. And when you put it in the computer, sometimes the answers are slightly different, that it will um, be different enough that it will mark it wrong. All right, so for cylinders, our formula is volume. And again, we've been using these formulas almost the entire year now. I've just been adding them into our bell work. Is So pi which is 3.14 times radius squared times your height. Your radius is always attached to the circle. So this right here would be our radius. This one is our height. And that's because um, our, our radius is going to be inside that circle, so this one's not inside the circles connecting our bases. So all you would do, whatever they gave you, you'd plug it in and get your answer. The next one is the cone, and the cone is going to be, for volume, you're going to do pi, which is 3.14, times radius squared times your height. So you'll notice that these two are exactly the same because my base shape right here is a circle. So there's my area of my base is pi r squared times the height, which would give me the volume if I had a cylinder. Since this is a cone, we have to divide it by three. If we were to take and fill this with water, we could do this, fill this three times before it would fill that one up. So this is a third of that size, and that's why we divide it by three. So again, your radius is always attached to your circle, and then this would be your height. The last formula you're going to be looking at is going to be your sphere. You'll notice both of these are r squared, r squared. Okay? The volume is the one that tends to throw you off, and this is why. It is 4, oh, whoops, volume equals 4 times pi times radius cubed. And that's because we're not having um, that height in there where we had a height on these ones. These ones, we're just using that third dimension with our radius. 
and then we're going to take all of that and still divide it by 3. So on this, this would be our radius. Again, if they give you the diameter, so let's say that on one of these, they gave you the diameter all the way across, you just have to divide it by 2, and then you'd have your radius. So there are your three formulas that you're going to use for the assignment, well, for our notes, um, for the rest of your notes, and then your assignment today. So we have the cylinder, cylinder, cone, cone, sphere, sphere. So you're going to be looking at these. Um, you'll notice they've given, these ones are kind of a challenge one. So especially my honors class, I should be doing these. Um, but every single one of you should be able to solve these ones right here. So a couple things, and I'm not, because we've been doing these um, really since second quarter on our bell work, I'm going to make sure that you can do them on your own because you should be able to. So you're going to look at your formula. We're doing cylinders, so make sure you use your formula for cylinders. You need to find your radius, which this is my radius because it's attached to my circle, and this is my height, okay? Because it is out, I mean, it's still attaching my circles, but it's not inside my circles. Again, these ones tend to throw you off as well because they put them sideways, but you still find that circle. The one that's inside that circle is my radius, and this would be my height. Now, you'll notice that this is a diameter. Remember that the diameter divided by 2 equals my radius, so we need to divide that by 2 before we put it in to our formula. And then again, that's my circle. So there's my, that's why that's attached to that. Here's my circle, there's my radius. My diameter is 12, my radius is 9.3. All right, go ahead and try those. And then if you want to give it a challenge, you can try those. Oh my goodness, I got the gaps. And you, um, I can check those for you.